Shout out to the new advisor in the building, Advisor General Igbi. Yes, yeah, so as is reported, eh, you know, I told the people that uh, as of the time I got the information about the ongoing celebration in the palace, yeah, I didn't hear about any of the Oloris and their actions. Yeah, but I promised I was going to get to make some inquiries. My people, I am higher again. <laughs> Antigbi don't turn motivational speaker. She has turned advisor general. As the rumor we are hearing, they said she stormed palace. Yes, yeah, so why will she not storm palace? Because when I heard all these rumors and I was like, ah, ah, I did not hear Antigbi did this. I did not hear Antigbi did that. How come? What happened? She person no by sha. Ah, now they tell me, say, oh, my people say she came, eh, she came, but she did not make her appearance open. You know, they left the gate open while they monitor people that comes inside. So that if you come and you go to another direction where you're not supposed to go, or you cross your boundary, mm, the bouncers go hijack you, boom, throw away you inside Gota. You be, you know, no, or you're trying now. So they said he became one straight to where KBAC, Dr. Lizzie, and Queen Naomi is, and excuse KBAC and Queen Naomi. Of course, Auntie Beauty was there. They said she did not even greet Auntie Beauty. She did not tell her congratulations that all her face was written frustration, depression, anger, a lot of that. So, my people, before I continue this story, I would like to welcome you back again to my channel. Yes, so it's me, where they give you super Tori. Where is the sweet tea for mine? Where, where? Tori, where they enter? brain yes i don't carry another one no. from today's episode yes i say make i update on her how it is up happened the waiting for inside the palace of kbsc my people if you never subscribe it is very necessary you subscribe bo. i beg na beg i beg you and to my returning subscribers i appreciate you thank you i wouldn't have done this without you thank you for all your support oh i love you so much now, the information that is getting to us is that Antigbi called Dr. Um, KBAC and Queen Naomi aside hmm, and started promising Dr. Uh, KBAC that the promise she's making to him today is that since he has decided to go against all odds to welcome this woman with these twins inside this palace, that whatever he see, he is going to take. That he's promising her that definitely he's going to see what he's looking for. My people, I don't know whether we are going to applaud, applaud uh, Auntie Ibi for at least saying our mind. Because a lot of people will be thinking, ah, maybe this no ca uh, affect KBAC. I will not say, would we rather say Auntie Ibi is trying to save KBAC? Or are we going to say that uh, Auntie Ibi is jealous? Or is, he, is, he do, is she doing that because she's always a drama queen, so she must ask one drama? Because right now, I don't even know where to place it. Whether she's trying to talk in the favor of KBAC in case of tomorrow, make this thing where they do today, where they should and where they welcome without the DNA test and verification. Make you no know, bounce on you today. Now, what did they talk, say in the tell KBAC that these children you are bringing, you are going to regret it one day, according to the rumor we heard. That this one is not threatening him, all, but. One day he will remember this thing that she said. For he to go ahead to listen to Queen Naomi and bring these children. Queen Naomi uh, that is always doing too good, good, good person. She's always uh, showcasing that she's too good. And she has lured you and pushed you to go and commit this, to go and welcome these children. That whatever you see, you are going to take. That he's making, she's, they said Antigua is telling uh, Kabiesi that she's making a promise that he's going to at least regret this one. I one day she he woke up and said, ah, why did I even uh, uh, listen to when Naomi to, uh, to, to welcome these children? So I say, now what they tell, in call them, they tell them oh, for one side, ha. Now when Naomi bust, tell and say, don't worry. Worry about your own self. Worry about your own family. Worry about your children that you left. Worry about your ex-husband. Worry about your life that you need to change and become better. Do not worry about this. I am in control. I am in charge. And God is in control too. I know the person I serve, he will not let us down. If forgiving somebody, if trying to, you know, making Kabi is it not to throw away these children, 
making cabbages to accept these children just because I am, I am human, I have conscience. If all this thing I did today, if it's bad, then let it come back to me. But if it is good, let the heavens reward me. But I strongly believe that what I am doing is good. And for the future of these children, even if, even if, no matter how it is, they say that's what we normally tell them, no matter how, even if, even if, these children will not suffer for what they do not know. And forgiveness is divine. Forgiveness is for the strong people. So they said, Quinomi told uh, Auntie B. Pop and Plain, do not worry about me. Worry about your children. Worry about your ex-husband. Worry about, in fact, the most important thing to worry about right now is to worry about your own personal self. To repent and try and be better than you used to be. Worry about changing and transforming into a better woman. Worry about how to have conscience and be human. Worry about, do not, in fact, worry less about me. Worry less about cabbage. Worry less about cabbage is true. Worry less about uh, anything that is happening today. I'm in control, I'm in charge. It's what my spirit says I will do, it's what I will do. So cabbage is not going to enter any problem. Cabbage is not going to regret it. Cabbage is not going to do, uh, to, to, to feel, uh, in fact, to feel bad in the future. That for her to use her her mind, eh, a human being mind to do this just for the sake of these children, for the future of these children, that she would get nothing but happiness and joy and more blessings from the Lord. Now this is what the Lord wants: being human towards one another, most especially children, innocent children who did not do anything. They will not come and be suffering for what they did not do or what they did not know. Or even if a cabbie is an anti beauty is having some kind of problem and challenges, uh, uh, they will now uh, come and say these children will now come and suffer for what they do not know. So now the information. Also. So as we hear this one, this one sweets me too because Quenomi is full of wisdom. This is a wise woman talking. This is a wise woman talking. In fact, how can we even describe this woman like? Oh, KBAC uh, is very lucky to have Queen Naomi. KBAC is even lucky that as she left Queen Naomi, nobody came to hijack her. And let me tell you, it's not as if people did not come, but it is destiny. It's only destiny that can do this kind of job. It's only destiny. So, Ibi, please carry your, um, um, what do they call, advice and go. We have heard you with the entire uh, Okumusi fan, Queen Naomi's fan, eh? Uh, we heard you and we heard what you said. You, your thought is good. Yes, it's for good. Thank you. But please worry about yourself and worry about how to be a better woman. How to be, in fact, the best version of yourself. So my people, now the matter will be this. So they said after Kwenomi tell told her that Kwenomi, Kabi did not even utter a word. It's Kwenomi that answered her. Thank you for your concern. Kare Kabi they went back and they continue with their uh, the celebration. I don't know what would be your opinion, uh, my people. Drop your comment on the comment section. Do not forget, I keep saying, give this video a thumbs up. And please, all these are alleged information. Stay on the line. I'll bring you more updates. Thank you.